Fred, our, our first interview today is Jennifer Hampson, and she's back in studio, multi-sports star, coming off two big wins at the Y Awards, Female Athlete, Athlete of the Year, Team of the Year, and then you just find out yesterday, Jen, that you're invited again to play with uh, USA Volleyball. Do you, have any, do you have any free time in your schedule <laughs> at all to do anything besides sports? I don't know. This is how I like to do it. You know, always going, so... Thanks for making time for us. We know it's busy. <laughs> Not to mention school. So what, what's going on with school right now as, as we approach finals? Just trying to catch up. Yep. Stay ahead. Work on finals. How is Win that? Win finals. Yeah, next, how, next, how, start next week, right? Yeah, they start the end of next week. Okay. How is that managing classes when you're making a deep run in the NCAA tournament? Like, I'm imagining the last thing on your mind is, uh, I wonder what I need to do for my sociology paper. Like, how, how is that as an athlete? It could be hard to like balance everything, but you know we have great support systems, and you know teachers are always great to help us, so it's good. So you picked up one of these Y awards, and we have one on the desk here. They're oh, pretty. This I, I'd like to say that we won one too. We but. got one for best simulcast. <laughs> yes, best simulcast show of BYU sports on BYU radio and BYU TV. Yes, there was only one nominee or nationally nominee. at any university. How about that? <laughs> But uh, to, to have your team validated that way, uh, yeah. to, win, to win team of the year, how was that for, for the girls? Like, what was the banter between you and your teammates? Um, I don't know. It was just such an honor to be, you know, recognized that way. There were so many great teams this year, I thought. And so, I don't know, it was just a great honor to be. Do you have a favorite sport to watch other than the ones that you play? Like, are you, are you geeked out on BYU football or anything like that? <laughs> Um, no, not so much. I'll be honest. I'm not a big, like, watcher of sports. I okay. like to play them more than that. So. Well, naturally. I mean, <laughs> that, that, that's okay. So besides basketball and volleyball, what are the other sports you like to play? Like to play? Yeah. Ooh. I know you did gymnastics growing up, which <laughs> seems like the craziest thing yeah, ever. That's, that's intriguing to me, Jen. Please explain how, the, the gymnastics. Uh, were, was, you, were you always tall? Yeah, but when I was younger, I didn't like basketball, and I didn't know anything about volleyball, and my best friend was really short, and so she did gymnastics, so that's what I did too, and it was so fun. It was not any good, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you do ultimate frisbee or anything like that? I like doing Post most things like that, yeah. but I don't do them very often. Yeah. I want to go, yeah. go back to class, by the way. Oh. Okay, no, you go to class, and then I'll go to USA Volleyball. You let's, go to class Let's first. go to class. Class is in session. <laughs> What's your toughest class right now? Ooh, probably my the, chemistry class. Ooh, chemistry? Yeah. In season? Yeah. Well, you're always in season, sort of. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. chemistry are you not in season. Who, who's, your, who's your professor? And go ahead and just give him a plea uh, on air right now to uh, help you out. <laughs> well, it's Jeff Macedoni, and I don't know. We've been talking, and so I think we're in good terms. You're okay? You're good. Jeff, cut her some slack. They just went to the Sweet 16, <laughs> dude. Not any more than you would anyone else, because that'd be a violation. <laughs> but, you know, just figure it out. Let's go back to USA Volleyball now. Uh, how familiar are you with uh, the girls that you're going to be playing with and the scenario that's happening? And, and just kind of walk us through the schedule, the agenda, what, what's ahead for you. Um, I've done it once before, so I'm semi-familiar with it, but it's been a couple of years, so, you know, you never know, like, who you're going to play with and stuff like that. But there's always amazing girls there, and so it's a high-level competition. And what you do is you work out for a couple of days, and then they'll split you into teams, and then you just play each other, and it's really fun. Is it in Colorado Springs? It's in uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis that's oh, right. Minneapolis. Yeah. Why Minneapolis? That's where the Junior Nationals is being held or okay. something. So, yeah. Awesome. A lot of people are grateful to be good at one sport, but you're really good at two sports. <laughs> now, I'll give you three. I'll say gymnastics, too. You're, you're being <laughs> humble. But the two that you're playing in college right now, basketball and volleyball, have created this interesting dynamic. It was huge news when you decided to redshirt volleyball and focus on basketball, and clearly that paid dividends. Um, and now you have an opportunity to go back and play USA Volleyball, BYU Volleyball. People are throwing out WNBA. I mean, the ESPN people were all over you. How has it been handling this increased amount of notoriety with uh, all of your options out there now? Um, it's been slightly overwhelming at times. You know, I've, I honestly never thought I would get this good. And so, I don't know. It's just been fun to see all the options that I'm going to have when I'm done. What advice You, you never your, thought yeah. you would get this good? I'll be honest, I was going to try and walk on to one of the teams. And what? <laughs> like in high school you were thinking yeah, that? I was honestly not good in high school until my senior year. So, No I way. I didn't so, get recruited until my junior year. So, so at what point did you feel like, hey, I've overachieved here? Uh, I don't know. At BYU? <laughs> like when you got a scholarship? 
Uh, I don't know. I just thought it was great when I got a scholarship and I've just always worked hard and done what I loved. And so it just kind of happened that way for me. What wow. kind of advice are you getting from your parents as you approach decision time and all this stuff? Um, they're super supportive, but in the end they're like, it's your decision. So like, we can't like make it for you, but they're super supportive. So. Okay. And by the way, they're social media superstars. I love it. I love it when they, when they tweet yeah. at us and your dad, David, and your mom. My dad yes. is getting so yeah. into it. Yeah. He loves Twitter. He loves Twitter. He does. Hello, David. What is up? Yes. What is going on? So you're going to play, uh, this, sum- uh, when are you playing with USA Volleyball again? When is uh, that? It's like end of June. End of June. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, that is... The timing is, that's the WNBA season, right? Yeah, in there. it is. So we're told by BYU Compliance that you could play in the WNBA and still come back and play volleyball for BYU. What do you want to do? Um, I'm just going to focus on volleyball this summer and then do WNBA possibly when I'm done with volleyball. Okay, so, so no, no WNBA this summer. Volleyball, yes. try and... Get to the Final Four or whatever you guys could do. Yeah. Sweet 16, how which we'll was, talk about that yeah. in a moment. How tough was that decision to make? Um, it was pretty tough, you know. It was tough just because, like, I didn't have a lot of time to make it. We just figured out that yeah. I was going to be eligible if I did it. And, you know, there's just all these things, you know, great things that could happen. But I feel like I got better at basketball this year because I focused on it, just on that. And so that's kind of what I want to do with volleyball is just focus on it for a season and then see what happens after that. Okay, so WNBA next year. Do you think that affects your draft status in any way, kind of waiting a year? Um, it probably will, but I don't know. You know, it's not really what I care about most right yeah, now. Yeah, the so. opportunity You'll still be will be six, seven next The summer. opportunity <laughs> will be there to play. Like that, that's going to happen. A WNBA team is still going to take you after a year. So, so you thought I'll try and walk on at BYU, and here you are. <laughs> you will get drafted next year in the WNBA. Like, has that set in for you? Like, hey, I can actually make money doing basketball and probably volleyball too right yeah um it hasn't quite set in but i don't know just kind of take it as it comes i guess can you play volleyball professionally like in europe or something yeah there's a professional league yep. is that something you'd like to dally with because wnba is kind of a seasonal thing <laughs> right it's dally. Yeah. Summer. you want to dally usually. with volleyball <laughs> <laughs> yeah usually if you play the wnba you play overseas too in those leagues and so yeah, I'm just going to decide. I definitely want to play professionally. It's just which sport. Talking with Jennifer Hampson, <laughs> who, multi-sport star. Who has star. that opportunity? That's I know, tremendous. right? <laughs> what a Multi-sport what a star. Uh, easily one of the, the uh, legendary status members of the BYU Women's Sports Hall of Fame. I mean, it, I know it's probably crazy for you to hear that, but like that, that's what it's become. You, you are one of the elite athletes that has ever attended Brigham Young University. Glad to have you with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, as, as we move forward and, and you look back at what your, your mom did and, and your dad, how much, of, how much of the shadow did you feel uh, playing underneath the, that from, from what your mom did here at BYU? Um, I think I felt it more when I was younger, but, you know, I came to BYU as a different athlete. You know, I did two sports, and so I never really felt her shadow that way, you know. And she's always just been so supportive with my basketball game and helped me get better that, I don't know, I just never quite felt as much as probably could have. And her maiden name is Spalding. Was she born to play basketball? <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, and she's one of the greats at BYU, and they've been fantastic and followed your career. Mm-hmm. So this season with uh, women's volleyball, which you already jumped in and participated and played in the exhibition against Utah, which you guys won in four sets uh, a week or two ago, you have a special team set up. Like, do you, do you get the sense that you could do something special? They went to the Sweet 16 without you, and now they add you? Yeah, I think we definitely have a great program, you know, but... You know, we have to work hard to get good, and so we're excited to be able to do that. Do you have to overcome the coaching staff to be able to be good? I mean, Sean, I'm, you look at me like, are you crazy? We love Sean. I'm just kidding. Oh, I love, Sean's no, the Sean best. Olmstead's He's the been, best. He's been awesome. But you, they go to the Sweet 16 while you redshirt. I mean, do, do you expect to at least get to the Sweet 16 next year already, given the group that you have? Yeah, we're, we expect to do good things for sure, and so that's definitely an expectation, hopefully a little higher than that, but... Yeah, that's what our goals are. Or a lot higher. Or <laughs> yeah. a national championship. Hey, why not? It's hard It's hard to discuss that in the preseason, right? Because you don't want to set the bar too high. Yeah. But but the bar realistically is at least the Sweet 16 because they did it without you. I think that's fair. They were a good team without you, and now they're a great team. <laughs> like, they were a great team without you. Now they're yeah. a really great team. So who who haven't you played with that play? I guess Tambor Haddock? 
kind of came onto the scene and transferred and yeah, was big. Yeah, Tamara so, and Camry, I haven't competed so the, with them. So the but setter and another outside. Yes. But but a lot of the other pieces are there. Yeah, yeah, I played with Alexa and TNC, so a bunch of girls on that team. I know that you're big on loyalty. Your coaches, whenever we talk to Juddy or Deshaun, like they, they talk about how loyal you are to your teammates and that you honor your word. What kind of conversations did you have with your volleyball teammates when all of this WNBA conversation started to happen? Um, you know, I told them early on, you know, that I was going to play in the fall, and so I didn't think mm. there were need to be more conversations than that, you know. So I was going to come back and play with them, and so, yeah. Where are you in school? Because this will be your fifth year, right? Yeah, so I graduate this April, and then... I'll... You're not transferring from BYU to anywhere else? <laughs> no. Okay. Just have to get that out there. What do you there. do for... F- <laughs> I just want to know, what do you do for fun outside of sports? What do you do for fun? <laughs> like, do you have a favorite TV show, or um, do you go to movies? I try to mix it up, you know, TV, movies. I honestly just hang out with family and friends as much as I can, so... Okay. Just the down home girl that's beach volleyball at all? Really good at two sports. <laughs> when it's summer, yes. <laughs> BYU hasn't uh, added beach volleyball, which is an NCAA sport, but that would be awesome, wouldn't it? That would be cool. I don't know where you play on the beach in Provo. <laughs> yeah, me either. There's like an apartment complex <laughs> that you can go play at, right? Probably somewhere. Yeah, we don't if Jen doesn't even know that's <laughs> we don't yeah, we're not ready to add beach volleyball. Thanks for joining us. Uh, have you signed the flag? Have you signed have you the flag? Here? I have signed he the flag. You, signed the flag. You, That's you are right. a repeat guest repeat from the guest. Sports Nation. Yeah, we, we won't ask for another because we already have it, right? <laughs> hey, take it easy. You've worked hard. You deserve a break. You need to relax. Congratulations on all that you've accomplished. Look forward to uh, seeing you down the road. Oh, thank you. Jennifer Hampson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> signed to pull up the hashtags next. This is BYU Sports Nation.